Hello my soccer universe! It is here! I have a second Denmark shirt, finally! And the way of getting it... Phew, it's, all, it's an odyssey! Uh, you know that I have one Denmark shirt and it's hanging back there. Uh, the long-sleeved Ericsson from the 18 World Cup. Um, and that's the problem. I wanted to have a jersey of every team at the Euros. That I didn't have a Denmark uh, jersey up until that time. It was anyway a little bit of a travesty. And so they had it long sleeve. I liked it. I bought it in January. Uh, and then I realized slowly when the Euros were starting, it might be good to add a short sleeved version. And so I went online and on Amazon I could find from a German seller, uh, Don Pallone, who has actually quite good reviews. They had the 16 home jersey, the, uh, inspired by the 86 one, uh, but also in two-tone red, but with a little bit white accents on, on, on the sides. And I thought, yeah, it might not be the prettiest one, but you know, it will be a nice shirt to have. And you know, I have now Homo uh, Denmark shirt that had a long period with Adidas. I actually think the best Adidas shirt was maybe the one for the 2012 euros, but couldn't find it at that, at that point for a reasonable price. And that came for a good price. I think I pay, would, would, would have paid with shipping around 30 euros. And I ordered in such a way that it would arrive potentially for the second group game, the latest for Denmark. The shirt never arrived. I got not notification that the uh, shirt is being, uh, the shipment is being prepared and then I didn't get any update anymore. I contacted them, they didn't know, must have been got, gotten lost and I'm thinking how does a parcel get lost? You just, you packed it, you made the slip, all you have to do is give it to the courier service or you know go to the post office whatever how does this get lost fortunately I got a refund uh, and then Denmark did all so well and was the team of the tournament in many ways yeah for me Italy but I think for the noodles of Den Denmark was the team of, 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 of the tournament and I couldn't really wear a Denmark shirt because it was freaking hot outside and I had only this long sleeve and fortunately, the way I was doing the reviews, it always worked, worked out that I didn't need to wear Denmark, but I felt a little bit bad, bad about it and knew I need to get another Denmark shirt. Of course, they were all sold out. And the one thing I have to say, uh, while the current jerseys are all by Homo, and I was low, low, looking around, I couldn't find anything really, really good. Um, and as I said, the current jerseys are made by Homo, and the Homo store. If you go online, you cannot buy the jersey. You get, if you get one and have a Denmark shirt, you get immediately directed to the page for uh, the Danish uh, national team, which is all, all in Danish. Thanks, Google Translate. I could, I can figure out how to order that one. I wanted to get the away jersey. I would have even gotten the player version. But they don't only ship to Denmark. What's that? And then I find Unisport. Uh, and I think it's a Concord company that many of you probably know already. Um, that said, yeah, we have the uh, current jerseys. We will have them pre-order. And so I pulled out the poll. Shall I get the home? Shall I get the third jersey? Um, and ordered on pre-order. Uh, I knew that it will ship while I'm on vacation. So I had to send it some, some, somewhere. Uh, for some reason, they didn't put my name. I, I sent it to my company, but they didn't put my name on there, which was also weird, but I could locate it within my company. Uh, so that was good. And here it is. It has arrived. Um, and I will reveal to you which shirt it is. Now I have to say the um, Unisport, I mean I go unisport.at and I know there's unisport.de or whatever, but at first I always thought yeah, because they have AT, it's probably an Austrian store. No, turns out it's a Danish store, so it makes all the sense in the world. Now, of course, since this was a pre-order, I paid regular price and yeah, I don't like to do that, but I said, okay. This is a shirt that will definitely hold up in value. So, I, in fact, it might be a shirt that people will look after in a few years. And so, let's see. And now, my big conundrum was, as I said, do I get the home or do I get the third? I was going back and forth. To be honest, I like the home a little bit better. It's not the greatest. I have to say, both of them 
I did not, uh, none of the Dent 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 which is this all red out shirt was kind of hmm it is special I just don't get it why is it all in red so let's see which one I got ta 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 it is the third shirt and the reason why I went for it is it will hold up in value much more I think this is a future Super classic shirt, I would say. Uh, it also is similar to the one that I wanted to order. It has the two reds. Uh, the packaging, Hummel, very, very nice, I have to say. Uh, Hummel always does a good job in that sense. So here it is. I'll get it out of the bag. Really look low, looking forward to it, to having it. As I said, I do not get the red out trend. However, it is really nice. Now, uh, before I show it to you, the other thing that I realized, uh, the white shirt, which is also not that spectacular, is the only shirt that Denmark actually uh, won in the entire tournament. When they were wearing red, uh, their home shirt, they had always drama, uh, they had always uh, some losses. Either in the home shirt they had the drama with Ericsson, and in the third shirt they lost to uh, Belgium, and then in the semis to England, although England is probably you could technically draw because it went to overtime, but you know. In any case, the third shirt it is. Here it is in all its glory. You know it. It is all in red. I have to say, uh, now seeing it in person, it is a whole lot nicer than when I saw it on, uh, you know, the first time in on TV. I have to say they really went all out with this all red look. Uh, even the Hummel official authentic apparel is in all red. Do they have the be cool tag down here? Uh, or maybe they don't have it. Don't mind. No, no, here it is. Be cool is also in red. So they really went all out with the way with this look, which I have to give them a loads of credit for. Uh, also that the iconic 86 look, um, I mean, you cannot go wrong with that. Uh, this half 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 design, although I, I don't know why they put, put the diagonal, maybe to get some Hummel branding in there too. And then, of course, uh, the tags, and I love Hummel for that. There's always this little uh, pin and there's the tag attached, so uh, very easy to take off and I really, really like it. And then we have on the inside, they have basically, uh, I think I butchered it when I said it uh, in my jersey re review. Uh, then Röde Moor is the red wall and you can see the red wall on the inside. These are all the Denmark fans uh, dressed in red in the parking, which was the best venue, in my opinion, at Euro uh, 2020, which was played in 21. I have to say, I'm quite happy with this shirt. Now I have another conundrum, which I probably need to make a video about my European... Um, shirts hang have different hang the european national team shirts i have different hangers uh, which i cannot get anymore than for all my other shirts so already with the bulgaria shirt the red one and this one i have now another problem shall i put a different hanger how do i reorganize the hangers but that will be a different video uh, that i will maybe put out kind of a fun video i have to say this is a really nice shirt i have to i definitely have to say it, it looks a lot better in person from distance yeah it's all red and that was maybe the thing that pulled, pulled me I, I don't get this black out white out uh red out trends but you know this is my first uh all in one color jer uh, jersey where you cannot even make out the logos but it's a very nice shirt i definitely have to tell that i'm very happy to have that one so yeah what do you think did i make the right choice I personally think this is a future classic that will hold up in my valley. That's why I didn't mind spending some extra bucks on that one. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to my channel for see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon with other stuff. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to 
wish you a wonderful day.